This is a fan-generated show. If you would like to support us, please go to jamieglazov.com and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All your support is greatly appreciated. There's a new book that just came out. If you've been following our page, you know about it. It's called Jihadi Psychopath by Dr. Jamie Glazov. I will tell you as an expert on Sharia, as a former child bride who has suffered and faced my own jihadi psychopath, I want you to go and order this book on Amazon.com or go to jamieglazov.com. Get a copy for yourself. You know why? Because you need to be equipped with the knowledge to fight our enemies so you can save your daughters and your granddaughters from future of Islam. They don't have to face what I did. Go to Amazon.com and order your copy of Jihadi Psychopath by Dr. Jamie Glazov. Hello, the, this is the Hague to Hague moment brought to you by the Glazov Gang. I am a Norwegian journalist, author of eight books on immigration and Islam. And I'm also uh, the information director in the political think tank Human Rights Service. I'm talking to you today uh, because my last book on Islam is now translated into the English and is out in the US. The title is Islam, Europe Invaded, America Won. This book was actually a bestseller in Norway in 2015 and 16, uh, selling in my small country 50,000 copies. That is equivalent to 3 million copies in the United States. So how was that possible? I think there are three answers to that. Uh, number one, people in Norway and also Western Europe are very worried for the future. They see that Islam is growing and growing. They see mosques are popping up more and more every year. The increasing use of hijab even on small children. They even see women with face veil and they wonder where is this going to end? Number two, people are very grateful that someone dares to speak up about this elephant in the room. And number three, people are very frustrated and also angry at the politicians who don't want to talk about maybe the most important issue of our time, because our society is transformed due to Islam. So after the launch of the book in 2015 in Norway, I toured all over the country uh, having lectures on the book for more than one year. And it was quite shocking to realize that every place I came, I was met with armed police to protect the author and the audience. And this had never happened uh, in Norwegian history. I mean, a book and an author and armed police, what is this? And the audience was, of course, very shocked. But they was as shocked about the fact that mainstream media didn't report it. They didn't want to talk about it. They didn't want to give the topic, critique of Islam, any attention. And then you can ask why they didn't want to do that. No, because they don't want to talk about Islam as well. They are like the politicians. They are scared to talk about Islam. In the sense, they are scared of critique of Islam. And as long as media don't want to talk about this, the politicians don't have to talk about it. Well, I have been 27 years in this field now. And I've been living two years in Pakistan. And I have some of my dearest friends there. They are Sunni Muslims. But they are freedom-loving Muslims. And they love the freedom they have experienced when they have visited me in Norway. When they started coming to me on vacations in the 90s, they didn't understand why do you have mosques in Norway? For us, mosques are extremism. Because the extremists, they are running and ruling inside the mosques. And they are actually very sad to see that we are losing our freedom. When they see the growth of the hijab, 
the growth of mosques. They look at me and they say to me, why do you allow this? Don't you see? These people, they don't respect your culture. So my freedom-loving friends in Pakistan, they are as concerned when it comes to the development in Western Europe and especially the country they love so much, Norway. But they will never win. We will fight it. Sadly enough, the kind of Islam in power in Western Europe, the same goes for US, is a totalitarian ideology. That's a fact. And I do hope you find time to read my book and enlighten your friends, your family, your colleagues about the problem we are now facing. Please support the Glasgow Gang at jamieglasgow.com and make sure you are subscribed to this Glasgow Gang YouTube channel.